Well, great afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Virtual Coffee Break with Tanisha. Happy Tuesday. Oh my gosh, it's Tuesday, y'all. But the kicker is it's October 24th. Right. <laughs> Where has the month gone? The month is flying. So welcome, Shamika. Welcome, Jean. Welcome, Delta. Welcome, Director Green. Welcome, Stormy, Norma, Amira, Lorna, Tiffany, Rhonda. Great, great Tuesday. So before we get started in our topic today, um, has anybody done anything that we can celebrate? What have you done to move your business forward? Amira? So, I have been really intentional about getting my um, logins for a different uh, preferred partner. And I didn't realize how many I needed, right? So it's just like, I've been really intentional for that. And I actually have a couple of quotes that I need to be working on today, which is fantastic for me because I've never done this before. I also found that in my practice, um, because I can go into chat GPT, Mm -hmm. And just tell them to give me a travel scenario that I can practice on. So I've been doing that and kind of realizing, you know, where, what, what relationships I need to build, what I need to connect with, with respect to the, um, the uh, preferred partners and stuff like that. So I'm really digging into, because yes, I want to build my business with respect to building my team. But if I know that I can get a, if I get a commission in two months, that helps too. So I'm working on both. I'm working on both sides of the business. I have been studying more, not just with your videos, but with um, other attraction marketing experts. Mm -hmm. And so I put into action um, the 333 method that I talked to you about. So tomorrow will be my third day on my first set of people. So I'm looking forward to reporting back to you what my 333 um, has come up with on Thursday when we do our VC uh, virtual coffee break. Excellent. And can you share with those who may not know what 333 is? So the 333 method um, is where you you choose people um, on your list and you um, comment on their posts for three days and you comment on their stories for three days. So three posts and three stories and you really focus on them and building a rapport with them. So that when you come into their inbox on day four, based on what you've learned about them through their stories, which you are already interacting on, through their posts, which you're already interacting on, they feel some type of rapport. So you can say, you know, I noticed that you have this going on. Did you notice that I got this going on? And I can help you with this. Do you have any interest in this? And also what I also learned is that it, it can be like, you know, I have this to offer for you. And if you're not interested, it's no big deal. So that they don't feel like they have to avoid you. Right. And they actually, they don't block you right off the bat. They don't do anything like that because you're already building this rapport with them. So I put this in action. I kind of recommitted myself to my business mm -hmm. um, because what I went through health-wise really kind of mentally messed with me a lot. So this book in combination with that, like I'm really just kind of recommitting and take taking taking it all in in every way trying to benefit from it and work it from every angle i love it i love it that's awesome uh shamika oh um i put in the chat i booked a hotel stay for marriott and i also booked another villa so i'm, I'm cashing in as much as i can nice. for the rest of this year <laughs> nice and who um who are you booking the villa through the villa, um, so I did check our website first. I was being coachable. They did not have it for the dates I had, so I did go through um, Expedia. Okay. All right. Awesome. Well, congratulations on your bookings, Miss Delta. I got it. Um, what I want to report was it's something that we did on one of the uh, coffee hours when we were talking about being professionalism, how you dress, and how you come across. So we went, um, my, uh, my, uh, my senior partner and other partners, we drove to Chicago this weekend, went there for the um, 
a um, you know celebration. Mm -hmm. On our way, we stopped to get gas, this, that, and the other. Well, first of all, um, for everybody that was there, I was dressing for comfort, riding in the car, I was dressing for comfort. And then I saw Karen, she comes out, okay. And then Lady Detroit comes out. I'm like, okay, wait a minute, we in the car, we driving. They were dressing professional. So I said, oh no, I'm just not gonna be left behind. So I get into my professional outfit and everything. So we we're at the gas station and I just so happened to go back in to get something for the road. And the gentleman behind the counter, he was um, well, yeah, hey, how you doing? You know, uh, uh, where are you guys on your way to? I said, well, we're on our way to Chicago for a business company. He said, well, what is it that you do? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Here's what I do. I said, well, you're interested in, in, in making additional income for you do the whole spill? He said, well, sure. I said, well, I'm on my way out of town. Uh, and I, I'll tell you about that later. But she, I said, I was on my way out of town. Let me get your information and I'll be sure to get back in contact with you. And then I told your partner, she was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Phones travel. <laughs> when we get a free moment, you can get um, get a chance to call him back. I didn't because of how the day went. But Did you give him your card as well? Yeah, I gave him okay, my card and everything. And I do, I'm saying all of that to say, be when you need to be professional, be professional. Because I think if I had a, just probably remain in a casual, low-key kind of clothes at probably uh, like eight-ish, late eight, 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 eight o'clock in the morning, as far as me being dressed, he wouldn't have been interested. But mm -hmm. I had took it up to the next level. He said, hey, it's eight o'clock in the morning. Where are you guys going? So all dressed up. So it broke, you know, it created an interest for him. So I, you know, slipped right on in and got the information. So I'll be definitely get, getting in contact with him. But yeah, sticking to when you need to be professional and do the things that you need to do. Because like you say, within that instant, it struck an interest with him. And you just got to, when you see it, know how to see it and know how to act on it. Act on absolutely. The absolutely. I love that. I love that. Last night, my husband and I, we were leaving from the Orlando meeting. Mm -hmm. And um, my son wanted Chick-fil-A. So we stopped at Chick-fil-A. And the young guy that was taking the order was like, y'all look so nice where y'all coming from y'all coming from church or something and again it opened the door for us to share what we do and you know give them our card and you know quick spiel right we're in the chick-fil-a line so you know i gave him my peak interest card um mm -hmm. and so you know we'll see where that goes from there but always dress for a success right i'm right. telling you when you when you dress professionally when you leave the house people are going to start a conversation with you because yeah. everybody else is dressed down so you must be someone special going somewhere special to do something special and people are nosy they want to know and they may yeah. even just compliment you they might not ask what you're doing but they may compliment you on how you look and that opens the door for you to say where you're going and what you're doing and why you're dressed like that yeah, so that's you. good that's good rochelle says she booked a hotel for family and she sent them the preview rep and peak interest to a guy on facebook to get his input before the big picture awesome 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 rochelle that is fantastic anybody else do anything that we can celebrate what have you done to move your business forward? Miss Zara? Good um, morning. Hold on one second. Shamika, I need your host one second. I'll be right back. Go ahead, Miss Zara. Yeah, I was just uh, gonna say I got a new business partner. So Yay! Ooh, I ain't got the yeah. phone. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Okay, tell us about your new business partner. How did you meet? Let's take us through the steps. Okay, so um, I actually met her probably about a month and a half ago. Um, I had went on Facebook and um, joined. I'm not sure when I joined the group. Wait, pause. Yes, for the new business partner. Y'all thought I didn't catch that. <laughs> okay, so how did we meet her? <laughs> So I was um I'm, I went um into a group on Facebook. I'm not sure if I joined the group a while ago or recently because I'm in a lot of groups. Mm -hmm. But um they had a meetup and where we played spades. So I went to it and I met like there was a whole lot of ladies and so 
we went around and we introduced ourselves and told everybody what what we did. So there were two other travel agents there. One was a IntelliDravel person, but I said, I'm a travel business owner and I help empower others to do the same thing that I do. And so um, anyway, there was a lady that was there after who was a retired ophthalmologist. And so we hit it off and we started talking and she told me that she, she was very interested and in that her daughter would probably be interested also. So, but she had a death in the family right after and she left. And so um, I just followed up with her. I didn't know if she was back or not. She said she would get in contact with me, but I followed up and called her and she said, oh yeah, I'm ready. And so I let her see the presentation and she was a 10 and that's the rest is history. Ooh, congratulations. Now, I want everybody to catch what Zara said. It was how she introduced herself that made the difference. She didn't mm -hmm. say, I'm a travel agent, which is probably what the other uh, agent said, right? Mm -hmm. She said, I am a travel business owner, right? And she was dealing with a professional. So that piqued the interest of the professional. She helps other people do the same. So congratulations, Zara. That is fantastic. Super Thank proud you. of you. Miss Karen. Hello, 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 everybody. Um, I had a phenomenal weekend because I uh, was prospecting all the way from Detroit to Chicago and from Chicago back to Detroit. <laughs> Because I always say, you know, and we always are told, we don't go out to prospect, we prospect while we're out. Right. And I'm like, well, I'm out. So everybody I came in contact with, I piqued the interest or just like you say, we were, Delta and I were together, you know, so we were dressed professional. We were dressed going to the eight year anniversary. I'm like, it's a celebration. We're driving. When we get out of here, we don't have to go straight in there. We don't have time to change. We got to dress for it. And it yeah, was a you know four hour drive and longer because we stopped and along the way we stopped. I talked to people and they you know they, they did make comments about you know where are you going. We had I, I I don't know I came in late because I was in another class. I don't know if they'll tell you about our our uh, air experience putting air in the tire. We were trying to do that. That and then we had some guys to help us. Of course we talked to them. We got their names and numbers. Got their they got the people. And everybody I talked to, I was just so proud of myself because I got their information too. And that's something that you know I don't always do. I just say, but you know because they may call you, they may not. But if you got their information, you could you know you can call. And then it was even best because we went to Chicago, and I have my. My late husband has a ton of family in Chicago. I've not really, some of them I've never even met, but I just start calling people, like, hey, I'm coming to Chicago. My business is having an awesome presentation. You need to be there. It's in one couple, uh, my cousin and his wife. He said, oh yeah, I'm gonna come because my wife, she booked all the, all the travel for everybody and all the family. I'm like, okay, I don't care if nobody comes, y'all come, okay? Right. You need to come. And she, and I stopped calling after that because, but, and I didn't know if they were there because we didn't have contact, but at the end, it was so many people there, it was packed. I just texted him. I said, hey, are you guys here? Where are you? And then he called me, said, where are you? We, we're going to come out this door. I'm like, oh my God, they're here. Uh -huh. They loved it. Who could not love listening to Donald Bradley, Shedrick White, Orlando Moore? Who could not love that? Right. I have a date. They're getting in, that she had a trip that she's already booked, that she wished she could have booked, you know, with us. But I said, that's okay. That'll be the last trip you book and not get paid on. Exactly. Exactly. So, Good so job, Karen. So you, can't, you can't hit the fan yet, but as soon as they sound, <laughs> I'll let you know to get the fan. Absolutely. But we got a date. We got a date. <laughs> that is good that you got the commitment day and great job yeah. inviting. That is phenomenal. Miss Amira. I just wanted to comment on what she said about how she introduced herself. When I'm in my uh, groups and stuff, or when I'm responding to posts, especially when, when the groups are talking about, you know, um, you know, promote, promote your business and stuff like that, 
I always say that not only am I a travel business owner, I am a personal travel concierge. And for some reason, the swag that comes along with that is like, so like, they be like, yes, girl. Like they love that. That's um, awesome. And um, they, um, uh, they, they, it normally piques their interest just enough where they come into my inbox or they ask me to message them and I'm automatically sharing and peeking. But I also say, you know, I also, you know, help others do the same thing with their home base. I emphasize home base mm -hmm. travel business. And I think when it comes to that, like people really think that you really have to be in these streets all the time to have a travel business and you it's home based for a reason right. like you can work from wherever you want to and I, I think a lot of people assume that you got to always be in the streets in order to do it so I peak a lot of people just from me saying I'm um, your personal travel concierge because they feel like it's mad flaggy yeah but Shamika helped me on a three-way call and she committed the oh no, the girl committed, but she did not answer my phone call today. So I sent her a message, I sent her my calendar link, and I did exactly what you do and move to the next one. Yeah. So she's my friend. She added me as a friend. She's my Good. friend. So she will see me around the planet and she's gonna make some decisions on her own. Maybe she's hesitant right now. Maybe she don't got the money. Maybe she's uncomfortable with telling me it. So right. it's all good. So I'm moving on to the next one. Exactly. And what you wanna do today, Amira, is announce a new business partner. <gasps> I'm actually gonna do that. Go to so our Team you know, Nux Platinum group, find a good one with a good picture and a good bio. Don't just put anyone out there, but find a, a really good one that's gonna be relatable to her and you copy and paste. Show That's her good. that you not pressed, <laughs> right? And right. that our, our company is growing with or without her. And that's gonna mm -hmm. make her feel even more convicted. That's what my, Mike said to me one time. He said, he said, you know, you need to call him back. You need to call him back. I said, I gave her two calls and I sent her a text message and I left her a voicemail. I said, one thing my coach always tells me is that I'm not in the begging business. She's going to see me around and we're going to move on to the next one. I'm not in the business to try to convince people to find value in something. Because if you're going to be my business partner, I'm not going to try to convince you to work. I right. shouldn't have to do that. Your okay. entrepreneurial journey. So it's not, I'm here to help. So I'm I'm taking all I'm getting it in. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I love it. it. I love it. Good job, Amira. Anybody else do anything that we can celebrate? What have you been doing to move your business forward? I want to share something. I'm going to share my screen real quick. Remember, we were talking about uh, that there's a lot of fraud, right? And I got another fraud email. So I just kind of want to share it with everyone. Oops, didn't want to do that. So this was an email that I received from this lady. And I'm going to make it bigger. Can I make it bigger? I don't know how to make it bigger. All right. Anyway, let me see something. I wonder if I do this. Nope. Okay. So she sent me an email. This is from someone named Nancy Powell. I Hello. got that one too. There we go. Hello. I would like to request a quote of a trip to depart from Lagos to Domo de Dovo on the 24th of October, one way 2023 for one adult, including one room and two nights. First two nights at a three-star hotel in Moscow through pleasant holidays, preferably. Flight should be an economy class. Kindly forward your findings, itineraries, and fares to me as soon as possible and advise the type of credit card your company accepts for payment. I look forward to your reply. Kindless, kindest regard, Nancy Powell. And I said, thank you for your inquiry. Do we know each other? How did you come across me? And she said, okay, many thanks. Your contact came up highly recommended while I was searching the web for an outstanding and reliable travel agent to handle my trip. Kindly advise the price and itinerary as soon as possible. Thank you. 
Um, and so I responded. I'm surprised I didn't sign. Uh, I just want to share with you all my response. I think I got to pull it up on my phone. I said, thank you for your response. However, I don't provide services for people I don't know, especially international travel. So again, this is someone random. This is why IntelliTravel is saying, do not book travel for people you don't know. You should either know them or they should be a referral. Uh, Amira, you said you got that same email? Um, I got the on, same email. Hold on, Karen. I got the same email, but I didn't respond to it because I, I I peeped it because of what you shared with me in the first place. Like if you're out of the country, why are you looking for me in the United States? And that was like the biggest red flag for me. So mm -hmm. when she, especially the verbiage, because the verbiage isn't isn't the verbiage of somebody. I'm a person who's been scammed a few times just looking for places to live, like looking for places. So the verbiage it doesn't. It doesn't, to me, um, convey somebody who's from here in the first place. Like, why are you here mm -hmm. when you could be searching from there for right. people who are there? One right. way, and, you, and then you ask what credit card I accept? Right. Damn. Right. No, I let her, I just left her on red. I didn't even do that. Yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. Karen? Oh, I was just going to say, you froze on my end when you were reading your response that you was reading from the phone. Can oh, you, the response. I don't know if anybody else was. For yeah, anybody, my, res no? my response was, th thank you for your response. However, I don't provide services for people I don't know, especially international travel. Oh, okay. Yep. That's, she that's, never responded that's, from it. Right? Because she's on to the next uh, passy. <laughs> yeah, somebody's going to fall for that. Yeah, somebody. And like I said, yeah. I don't know what the game is on it. Um, could be somebody trying to get a visa. Could be credit card fraud where they they're using stolen credit cards, and then once you book it, they try to get a refund, a cash refund. Um, I don't know what the scam is, but I will have no parts of it. Not, nope, we're not doing that. All right. Uh, anybody else have any, any comments, feedback, questions on that? Oh, the other thing that I saw, did everybody, I know everybody got it. And I highly, highly, highly recommend that you register for it. Uh, but in teletravel, has uh actually it starts tomorrow anybody get the everybody get the email about IntelliTravel innovation lab IntelliTravel innovation lab yeah excellent excellent make sure you register for it make sure you even if your focus is on the marketing side you need to sign up for one of those innovation labs um, because you got to keep your finger on the pulse of what's going on with the product that you're selling. Even if you're not booking travel, you need to know what's going on. And I'm super proud of IntelliTravel because they are doing some great things with the technology. They never used to be into keeping up with technology, but they are definitely on it now. And so you want to make sure you participate in that webinar so that you know exactly um, you know, what's going on with the new technology that IntelliTravel is using. Because there are some people who wanted to join us and when they saw the booking engine and stuff, they're just like, eh, nope. And so now we are, are more competitive because of the innovation and technology that IntelliTravel is bringing um, to the business. So please, please, please make sure you register um, for one of those innovation labs so that you can speak intelligently to the, especially to the people who are interested in the travel, you'll be able to tell them about all these new things that we have going on with our booking engine and, you know, and Telespark and marketing and, 
you know, all of those things. So make sure you participate in that. Um, Ms. Zara, I saw your hand up. Um, yes, but this is this is regarding the um, the email that you had that you received. On that email, there was a link. Um, so that wasn't your link, right? That was there was that was their link. No, that was my. Um, let me see. That was my Popple link. So this is my embedded. Um, Signature. Electronic. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, I, I just wanted to make sure. Open up at. Was it a form? I'm trying okay. to see where it opened up at. Oh, well. Not now. Yeah, it's it's my electronic signature. I don't know why I can't get it to open. But when they see it, it it has like my picture and a link to Popple and all that information. Okay. Thank you. Uh-huh. Miss Delta. Okay. Question I have is on the webinar, uh, is it for today or tomorrow? Um, is there a limit on how to register for the, I guess, the, the, the classes or how does it go? Is, is there a limit? Because I was interested in possibly, you know, doing them all, however many they offer. They're all is the same thing, as far as I know. They're just having it on multiple days, as far as I know. Okay. So you just got to okay. reread the email. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's just the same thing, but they have it on multiple days. Miss Norma? Oh. Yes, I was going to say it's the same thing, but I still, uh, I was wondering too, if if I'm taking away from somebody trying to join, if I join all three, but I did register for all three. <laughs> just in case I want to refresh it anyways. So I, I registered for all three just now when you just talk about it, because I saw it yesterday, but I was... Uh, um, you were asking if we did anything to enhance our business in any way. Yes. Yes, I was continuing. I was trying to do Virgin Voyager all week last week, and it was just not working. It's not working. So they finally fixed it. So I started, and I'm going to finish it up that um, this week before I head out. I'm going away for eight, eight nine days. Mm -hmm. So I won't be here next week, Tuesday and Thursday. I wanted to let you know that in advance as well. But I did have a wonderful chat with my my coach and mentor in the business, um, Director Brown, mm -hmm. because I'm gonna be gone for a whole week. So I just wanna make sure that I'm strategizing properly. I'm gonna be on the Royal Caribbean ship. So I wanted to ask her, being that she has done a few things more than I did, exactly what my position should be when I'm on there. How should I go about prospecting people on there, whether it be both sides of the business or just one side. So I did speak with her for an hour for her to, Tell me for the rest of the year, what are some of the things I needed to make sure that I put in place for myself and my team and for my travel side of the business as well for myself. I didn't ask her that for specifically about the travel side, but I know what I want because you've also told me a number of times that Norma, your two businesses, let's get it. Let's get both of it. Don't leave anything on the table. Exactly. So I've been working on that side as well. Excellent. But I did, I did um sit I also have a personal coach separate from Director Brown and anybody else in the client marketing side of the business. And I did have a long talk with him for him to help me to move past some of my things that are blocking me from doing what I need to do business-wise because I hold back a lot of things because of, I feel like it's in conflict. Mm -hmm. So I've been using that and I've been really doing a lot of more rapport, mm -hmm. building rapport with people and uh, instead of just jumping right in. <laughs> Good. So I'm getting a little better with that. And right now I've set up a few. Um, last week I've gotten a few three-way calls set up. So I'm doing a little better. I'm trying to not eliminate the people who are not trying to do anything when they come into business. So I'm going for quality versus quantity now. Good, good. Very good, Norma. And I definitely give you kudos for seeking counsel, right? for, you know, to help you remove those things that are blocking you from moving forward. That is so, so important to drill down to find out, okay, what's what's stopping me? What's holding me back? Let, let me, 
you know, put some time and effort into fixing that. That is so important. So congratulations on that. Um, I had someone who recently reached out to me and said that they had been in planet marketing before, actually twice, um, and left, and, and now they want to come back. So I want to just tell you a little bit about that process for me, because you're going to have that at some point you're going to have people who used to be in the business. Um, whether they were on your team or somebody else's team and now they want to come back in the business and they're going to you know come across you, so one of the first things I did because this person hit me up through messenger is I scheduled a, a time to talk. That was number one. And the purpose of the conversation was I, I want to know who is this person? You know, uh, you joined before you why why did you quit the business? Not once, but twice. I want to know why. And more importantly, I want to know what's different now. Because I'm not looking to join with someone who's gonna quit on me. I'm not looking for quitters. I'm looking for people that are going to stick and stay. Okay, that is very, very important. Um, so I told him we're going to press the reset button. He's supposed to join this week. We'll see if he follows through or not. Um, and then I asked him how he came across me. Because the two times he was in the business, it was not under me. And he basically did a search. He did a search and I came up. So this is why I remember I said, make sure in your bio that you have that you are a planet marketing rep, that you're an IntelliTravel travel advisor, right? Use some hashtags, you know, when you post, because people are searching for people. And then not only that, again, what does your Facebook show about you or whatever your social media if it doesn't show that you are working your business that you're even in the business that's a problem if my social media didn't show that i was actively working the business that i'm engaged in my business i'm going to the weekly meetings look i'm at a planet marketing meeting Look, I'm in Rochester for a business presentation. Look, I'm on my way to Atlanta for our eight year celebration. Look, I just announced a new business partner, right? If I did, if he didn't see all those things on my page, he might've kept looking. But not only was he looking for just someone in the business, he was looking for leadership. Because one of the things that he, um, complained about was the lack of support from his leadership before. Now, let me say this, I quickly corrected him and told him both Planet Marketing and IntelliTravel have all the tools and resources for you to be successful regardless of what your upline does. So you, I need you to tell me what you contributed or didn't contribute to your business that caused you to not be successful. Let's not place the blame game. And he admitted. And so that's important. So I just wanted to share that with you again, just as a, a testament of keeping your social media attractive to people and letting them know what you do. They shouldn't have to go searching, is she which? Is she with Planet Marketing and Teletravel? Uh, Shamika, hold, uh, take control one second. Okay, awesome. I see Beverly, you got your hand raised. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. I wanted to kind of lean into what um, Director Burke was just talking about. I met a young lady. Um, I was purchasing some tickets at the airport and uh, I was purchasing tickets for some of my teammates and she waited on me and she said hey uh, I get I get out in a few minutes can I talk to you I'm like sure 
So I proceeded to tell her about IntelliTravel and then she turned around and told me about IntelliTravel. And she had been in the business twice. And I was like, what happened? And she just, you know, shared with me her experience. And I tried to like Dr. Dr. Director Burke was saying, don't lean into, uh, you know, all that other stuff. And so but she's still in the business on the, uh, well, she's not in the business. She's not working it. She's canceled totally on the planet side. And then on the um, IntelliTravel side, she can just restart. But what happened was whoever she was under had her pay twice, the entire thing twice. I was like, I didn't say nothing. I was like, whoa, because I would have just let her restart it up her, um, her travel side. But anyhow, I was just trying to uh, understand the relationship. Like we build a relationship over time and she says she's going to come just on the planet side. So I'm, I'm really in trying to see what is her intentions if she's really going to work the business and just kind of wanted to kind of ask D uh, director Burke, what are some of the questions? What are some of the things oh, excuse, me. excuse me, she would find out more about it. Cause the young lady, like she said, she approached me. She said, she's very interested. And we have not pulled the, you know, the trigger. You know, every time we're supposed to get together and she's signing up, I don't know, something that's happened, but we, we've developed a relationship. Like I can go to the airport and she said, hey, Miss Beverly, let's, you know, let's get you your tickets. Let's get you what you need. I'm like, girl, when you're coming on in here so we can get started, at least on the planet side. So I'm just really trying to, um, and that's been going on to me for too long, for at least six months. I was like, and every time I see her, yes, ma'am, I'm going to roll now. I really want to do it. And I think she does, but nothing's happening. I don't, and I don't know if there's some fear of the fact that she, you know, tried it twice. And like she said, she really had some opportunities and some people, but she said she didn't get any help. Like you said, I'm not trying to get into that. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the questions that you talked to him about and trying to explore that? And even if she does come to let her know, you know, this is your business. You got to work the business, but I'm here to support you. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things I might want to delve into? Right. So the, one of the things you're going to want to ask them is why do you want to do the business? Mm -hmm. what, so it's, it kind of goes back to that game plan interview. What okay. do you want out of this business? What are you looking for this business to do for you that you have not been able to accomplish up until this point in your life? Cause they got, if they don't, here's the thing, it goes back to the why. If they don't have a strong enough why for why they're doing the business, they won't do the business. So we gotta know what the why is. And you may have to drill down. Don't let them give you just a surface why. Let's, let's drill down. Um, and then it's asking them, what did they do the last time to win in their business what did they do and be you may have to be specific beverly you may have to um ask questions regarding both the intellitravel and the planet marketing side ask them did you attend convention let them tell you no <laughs> were, were you on the imv every morning monday through friday let them tell you no were you on basic training every wednesday let them tell you no have you attended um, your your weekly meeting in your area? If there was one, let them tell you no. I mean, did you participate in a boot camp or a blackout event or a seven figure success school? And let them tell you no. Did you attend a Dream Maker event? Did you did you participate in the five webinars so you could be a certified Dream Maker? Did you complete the online academy? Did you register with the suppliers? Did you go to ITQ? Do you participate in the weekly webinars that IntelliTravel has? Did you participate in the Wednesday group training? Did you participate in the Friday travel agent Q&A? Like, I would go like that, Beverly, because they need to hear themselves say, no, 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 no. And then ask them, so now do you see why you weren't successful in the business? And now we'll finally get a yes. So then the question is going to be, are you willing to plug in to the things that are going to help you be successful? That's it.
That's it. We have to show people that they bring success to their business. And then, of course, it's the personal development. And so I want to go into that a little bit um, because Amira was sharing some information um, because she's reading the book Relentless. Amira, are you still on? Oh, there you go. I'm still here. And I'm super, first of all, what I suggested in our team, Burke um, Champions, was that you guys invest in getting the audio book also. Because in the audio book, he talks outside of the writing that's in the actual publication. Um, so there's, there's little nuggets that he drops in with his co-author outside of what he's actually re was actually being read aloud in the actual publication. And one of the quotes that I got from him that wasn't in a publication was sometimes being alone is the best company you can ever keep. And that's just really like canceling out all that extra noise and really just focusing on what's in your spirit and what your goals are. And that was really big for me because I have to spend a lot of time by myself because of everything that I've been through. Everybody, life is lifing out around me while I'm recovering. So that's a big thing. And I know I highlighted a bunch of stuff, but it's so interesting because you and I specifically, as well as what you've gotten on us about is a lot of things that, sh that you, that it, whether it's in the INZ or you coaching us directly, um, or even what our leaders, our other leaders have said, it's always being reiterated, but this time it's being reiterated in a way that's sports related. So you can actually see these great people performing and you go within it and you're like, okay, this person is doing, and you don't know what they're going through, but he'll say, me and Michael Jordan went through this. Me and Dwayne Wade went through this. And one of the things um, that he said is uh, in order to have what you really want, you must first be who you really are. And that taps into the authenticity. Like, what do you believe in your heart? Who you really are and who you want to be? You know, that's your name on the jersey. Remind them of who you are. Like he said, greatness makes you a legend, but being the best makes you an icon. If you want to be great, deliver the unexpected. If you want to be the best, deliver a miracle. And sometimes this business does make you feel like you're reaching so high because you need so much right now. It's literally a lot of times it's the right now. And it's just, you know, being relentless means being never satisfied. Okay. And they talk about this in the IMV. It's like, okay, don't be satisfied with just this number. Don't be satisfied with just being director. Even director, um, director Moore said yesterday, he said, okay, well do bronze, silver, gold all over again. Do bronze, silver, gold again. Do bronze, silver, gold again. Like never stop. Just don't be satisfied with the pin. Don't be satisfied with just the ring. The ring wave. They talked about this. Um, you're not great until you make three rings, you know? Mm -hmm. And the three rings is diamond status, right? So it's like, it's, it's really just really impactful. And I think the significance is really the part of getting out of your head, because even with the athletes who are injured, like he's working with them through their injuries. So he's respecting what they need to be able to recover. But at the same time, it's the personal development. You got to be able to personally develop. You got to be able to actually sit, learn. And he's, he has a, he said he has a master's in, um, sports medicine or sports training or something like that. So he's already had the education. He talks about how much so this being a student of the game is important also. So we have to be prepared, get organized. You have to be prepared. You have to have the plan. And if you, the problem is if you don't follow the plan, get the F out of my gym. Right. Get out of here. If you're not one, if you're not coachable, then you need to get out of my space. I'm When you come to me, when you're ready, when you're ready to do the work, you come to me. If you want to go ahead to these other week old trainers, they're going to go ahead and, and pacify you. But when you come to me, that means you know what's going to hurt. That means you know what's going to challenge. That means you know what's going to go. We're going to go hard and I'm going to make you better than what you were before. And I feel like you've told me that a few times already. And so it's just like, it. you're really like, you're really like our Tim Grover in a lot of ways. And I, I really appreciate you. And so I just think that I see a lot of the way you speak to us in the way that he speaks. And it's really like no excuses. Like I'm not accepting your excuse. Your reason might be really good. And that makes sense. 
But a reason is really just a dressed up excuse. So find a way around it. Find a way around it. So that's I all. love that. I love that. Thank you for that. And yeah, and and I, I like what you just said, just to piggyback on what she says. We all have reasons, aka excuses for why we don't do certain things. And it's not that those things don't exist. We're not, we're acknowledging that things happen, right? There are things that come up or whatever, but what makes it the excuse Sorry. Um, we're acknowledging that those things exist, but a champion mindset is going to say, how can I move forward in spite of this? It's like, don't come to your coach with the excuse, come with the solution. That's all we're saying. We got it. You, you had COVID. And so you couldn't whatever, but how could you, what, what could you do? Right. Okay. If, if you had COVID and you couldn't attend an event, well, what did you do in the meantime? Cause you, your butt was home watching TV. So what could you have been doing to move your business forward during that time? It's that type of mentality, right? Oh, I couldn't make it to. I mean, convention's been out since August, but there's still gonna be people come August, 2024, who are in the business right now, who don't make it to convention and complain that they don't have the money. There's no excuse for that. You talking about in the course of a year, you couldn't come up with a thousand dollars so that you can attend convention, have your hotel covered, have food cover. It's going to be about a grand, maybe 800. There's no excuse. And failure to plan is a plan to fail. You have to have a plan for success. You know, and, and speaking of events, you got to be willing to invest back into your business to go to these events, right? I'll be in Atlanta this weekend. First, I just got back from Rochester. Last week, Sunday. But I'll be in Atlanta for the training and for the black tie event because I got to invest back into my business. Right? But not only that, there's other events that are coming up. And here's the kicker. Some of y'all are single. Guess what? Every time there's an event, I got to pay for two because it's me and my husband. So I have to always have some money set aside because I don't know when the next event is coming. And I don't want to be that person that says, oh, does anybody have an extra ticket? It's sold out. Anybody? Got when I know there's something that's coming. Everybody knows Mr. Bradley has an event out. If not every month, it's every other month. There's something new that's coming out for something that's gonna happen in the future. Why? Because he's a multimillionaire and they plan from decade to decade. Rich people mm -hmm. plan year to year. I promise you Mr. Bradley has the next few years of convention already set up. So guess what I got to do? I got to have my money set aside because the next time he puts an event out, I need to be ready to purchase before it sells out. We got 97,000 people in the business. So I can't wait until it comes out and be like, oh, okay, let me um, get my money together and start saving. Because by the time you save two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, it's sold out. We got to do better. So one of the things that I suggest to people, save your travel commissions. Keep your travel commission saved up so that when the next event comes, you're good. Budget every month. Every month I have 
five hundred dollars budgeted for travel whatever that's gonna look like for you all but you have to have the you have to prepare failure to plan is a plan to fail delta there we go um i just want to say as far as when you when you were speaking what came to mind for me was investment what is it that i mean why i i don't understand why we're not comfortable in, in, in investing within ourselves and investing in and in, in moving ourselves forward what is it that why i can tell you why it's okay. because if we we have that microwave mentality where we want to see the gra instant gratification mm -hmm. and when you invest in yourself it's something that you're going you're going to get the return further down the line right and so right. it's not fun to us if we can't get the instant gratification right away from it that's why no and i have to, i have a question and and what do you do when you run across someone a potential prospect who can see the value who you know is interested in, in becoming you know a part of the business but they have that they they have that type of mentality that is how can i say it that will, i will see that will probably keep them from being successful at the business i mean as far as how 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 do i help them not to fall back out of the investment that they the time and, and money that they've invested into the business if if i if i'm making it sound no i understand what you're saying delta mm -hmm. you have to point it out to them okay okay this is where the coaching comes in right when, just like when you walk say the word try do i let you say it or do i stop you and point out to you that you said it and you're not yourself up for failure right a lot of people don't know, so you have to point it out to them. There's mm -hmm. times when I'm doing a three-way call for somebody and the prospect will say, you know what, I, I, I think I might give it a try and see how, I stop them right there. I'm like, nope, if you have that mentality, this is not for you. You're not gonna do well with that mentality. You mm -hmm. have to know that this business opportunity is going to be the solution for your pro for, for your problems. You have to right. be willing to make a commitment because if not this, what? I stop them right there. Awesome. Now, sometimes the business partner might be freaking out like, oh my God, they might not join. No, but do we want somebody who, who's gonna come into business with a I'm gonna try it out type of mentality? I, first of all, I don't wanna waste my time onboarding you if you only gonna try it out for 30 days, don't waste my time. I'm not right. looking for that. It, 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 it's a line between survival and non-survival. I mean, when it comes down, you you know, and, and, and we, we've adapted, um, uh, uh, my senior partners and, and, and the other partners, we've adapted the saying, life is lifing. And my thing is life is lifing, but we can't get caught up into life to the fact that it it stops us you know dead center in in being able to move move forward in being successful in the business and as an individual because it's right. a, a lot of, yeah we get comfortable we get complacent it's like you don't want to move forward you don't, you don't want to move backwards you don't left or right so it's just like you're just comfortable and you don't want to you don't want to i guess you're standing still in in the water you're standing still in the pool and there's no ripples and all right. listen, you well here's the other part of that delta mm -hmm. this is why we read the books like relentless because yes. when you're reading reading people are ruling people plain and mm -hmm. simple reading okay. people are ruling people and when you uh, read a book like relentless when you read a book like the top 10 distinctions between millionaires and the middle class by keith mm -hmm. cameron smith when you're reading um the 21 irrefutable laws of leadership when you're reading books like that your conversation is going to change so you'll know mm -hmm. exactly what to say to that person because you've read the book relentless and you can give um you know use an example like a michael jordan or Dwayne wade to make a point so that they understand where you're coming from 
Mm-hmm. But most people ain't reading. That's true. So they That's don't true. know what the heck to say when they're faced with these types of things. This is why I, the, being on the IMV is so important. Whatever book is on the IMV, read it. Mm-hmm. Participate. Don't just listen to the IMV. Read the book along with them so you can mm. gain the knowledge so that when you do come across these types of people, you will have the vocabulary and the stories to share with them so that to help change their mindset. And they're going to mm-hmm. want to partner with you because you sound different than everybody else that's in their circle. Yes. And they're going to be like, you know what? You right. Wow. She dropping some science. Yep. Closing comment, Amira. I just wanted to, um, there is um, a, a part in the book where he says, um, that fear component is a powerful obstacle. And often when we first get started, these guys are scared to move. For the first time in their lives, they can't rely on their physical abilities and control their own motion. And now they're afraid of their own bodies. It's one of the biggest obstacles to recovery is that they no longer want to move. And for those of us who had medical challenges and who had issues with stuff like that, like I had to remind myself how scary it is to have that feeling again. But that doesn't stop me. It can't stop me mentally. So instead of me binging Netflix or instead of me binging American Horror Story or whatever, now I'm putting on your training videos. I'm putting on attraction marketing videos and I can take notes. I can do that. I might not be able to be as active as I want to be on social media because once I have to lay down, I got to lay down. But that does not change the fact that I'm still maintaining momentum with respect to my education with respect to my learning i'm still picking up tips i'm still taking notes i'm still reviewing uh 40 days and 40 nights week one i'm still reviewing the jappy what did i miss what did i get how can i incorporate this now how can i update my list how can i do like i'm consistently working on the improvement and gradually my body's gonna come along too but for right now I need to make sure to maximize whatever little power that I have. And I think that people like really need to like, whatever your obstacle is, you have to find a way to not just work on improving that when it within your, your, your limitations, like don't violate your doctor's orders or whatever, whatever limitations you have, but mentally you, you can, you can push at however hard you need to in order to still be um, a professional or be a, um, and master at your craft. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Thank you for sharing that. Shamika? I was just gonna say, um, when I talk to people, a lot of them are fearful and, you know, oh, life is life and, and you know, that's the new phrase. Um, but for me, I let people know, even if they just prospects, that plugging in is not only crucial to my business, but it's crucial to my life. It, it's It's, like it, it's like I need it <laughs> to just be sane. While life is life, and right, because it's life is life to all of us. It just may look a little different. But when I plug in, when I hear you know the top leaders and they're motivating us, and nine times out of ten they're saying something that either I'm going through or someone else is going through, and it's just motivation to say, okay, I'm I'm on the right path. You know, I I might have some bumps and bruises and, and scars. But I'm, I'm still on the right path to know that, you know, these leaders have experienced some of the same things that I'm experiencing, other people are experiencing. And, you know, they, they didn't allow that to stop them. So plugging mm-hmm. in definitely helps me to just keep going, period, no matter what. So it's crucial. And I let my new business partners know that. I let my prospects know that because they that that's the main question. How do you continue to go on, you know, when stuff is happening around you and it's like i i have to plug in that that's exactly. what helps me a lot so exactly exactly so this was an awesome awesome coffee break today thank you all for contributing to this amazing topic um it is being recorded i will upload it to my youtube channel so everyone has access to it so everyone have an amazing day and for those of you that will be in atlanta no i'll see y'all on thursday i'll be back on thursday so have a great one bye everyone